Olive is an ostrich. She lives with her family in the outback. But Olive is very different. Olive's dad loves to run. Olive isn't a fast runner. Olive's mum enjoys laying huge eggs. Hmm. Olive doesn't like the look of that at all. Olive's little brother pecks at the ground to find tasty roots to eat. Pecking at the ground makes Olive sneeze. But Olive has an incredible imagination. So while the rest of her family are running, pecking and laying eggs, Olive can be found imagining herself going on amazing adventures when she buries her head down, down, into the sand. until she popped up somewhere new. It was a place covered in soft yellow sand and it was next to a glistening blue sea. It's a lovely sandy beach. Olive looked down and saw she was wearing flippers. She tried to walk but fell flat on her beak. <laughs> Don't worry, little ostrich. Boomed a loud voice. I'll save you. A strong looking horse helped Olive up. He had the shiniest mane of hair and the brightest smile she had ever Ever seen. He wore a red jacket and spoke into a megaphone. Hi, I'm David Hoppyhoof, beach lifeguard. Me! Hey, your loud voice is making me ears ring. You'll get used to it. I'm always here, so if anybody gets into any trouble on this beach, I will rescue them. Where? Well, you're a real hero. Just doing my job. Boom, David, as he proudly combed his shiny hair. <laughs> Just then, Olive heard a cry coming from the sea. Two tigers were in trouble. Their claws had punctured their rubber dinghy. Hail, we're sinking. David, those tigers need your help. But David had disappeared. Olive couldn't see him anywhere. <laughs> then she noticed a very funny-looking sandcastle. Olive shook her head. Why are you pretending to be a sandcastle, David? Those tigers need you to rescue them. I can't. But that's your job. You're the beach lifeguard. I was only pretending. I've always wanted to be a lifeguard, so I borrowed this outfit. The truth is, I never rescued anyone. David started to cry. <laughs> you see, I hate the water. It makes my hair go all frizzy. Help, we're still sinking. Olive spotted David's huge comb and the surfboard lying nearby. Oh, cool. A surfboard? I think I may have an idea. David and Olive grabbed the surfboard and using David's comb as a paddle, they paddled out and rescued the tigers. Hooray, you're our heroes. They paddled back to the beach. David didn't get a drop of water on his shiny hair until... There you go, my tiger friends. Back safely on dry land. As David lifted the tigers onto the beach, he started to wobble. Oh, 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 oh. And then he toppled backwards into the sea. Oh, hey, your hair looks different. Exclaimed Olive. I love it. It's so big and it's so bouncy. It's really beach chic. Excuse me, came a stern voice. It belonged to an even bigger horse. It really did look like a lifeguard. My name is Big Jim, and I am the lifeguard of this beach. What are you doing with my megaphone? I'm sorry. I only borrowed it so I could pretend to be a lifeguard like you. Big Jim smiled. <laughs> I think you should keep it. After seeing you bravely rescue those tigers, I think you would make a great assistant lifeguard. Why, thank you. Bean David, he was thrilled. He couldn't believe his dream had finally come true. And now you've got the perfect beach haircut as well, said Olive. They all laughed. <laughs> and as they did, Olive realised yeah. it was time to go. Typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. Back? Actually, I've been helping Hoppy Hoof the lifeguard. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs> 